In this video, I want to take a look at the relationship between the independent samples t-test and the one-way ANOVA. Now, it may seem that these tests are quite different. It may look like that on the surface. After all, they're located in different chapters, in intro stats texts, and so on. But we'll take a look today at how these tests are actually very similar. So let's go ahead and start with this example here on your screen. Here we have a two-group problem where we have volume, where we have one and two, where this corresponds to either a no music condition or no volume condition, and a high volume condition. So in this hypothetical study, we had 20 people, 10 were randomly assigned to study for an exam with no music, and then 10 were randomly assigned to study for an exam under high volume. And then the dependent variable here is the exam scores. So our independent variable is type of volume, where we have none or high, and then our dependent is exam scores. So let's start by running an independent samples t-test. So to do that, we go to Analyze, Compare Means, and then select Independent Samples t-test. Here we'll move our dependent variable exam scores into the test variables box. Then we'll move volume into the grouping variable. And as we can see here, we have ones and twos, so under Define Groups, Group 1 was assigned a 1, and Group 2 was assigned a 2. Click Continue, and then OK. And then here's the results for the independent samples t-test. Before we take a look at that, let's go back and now run the one-way ANOVA. So we'll go to Analyze, Compare Means, and then One-Way ANOVA. This time we move exam scores into what's called the dependent list, and volume into the factor box, factor standing for the independent variable. Go ahead and click OK. And then now here's the ANOVA results. Now the first thing here that I want you to notice is the p-value. Look at the p-value for the independent samples t-test. Under equal variance is assumed, we have a p-value of 0.014. Now here in the ANOVA results, if you look at this p-value, notice what it is. It's the exact same, 0.014. And just to make sure, let's go ahead and double click on this table here double click on the p-value and we can see it's 0 0.013996 and then we'll do the same here for the ANOVA table and this is also 0 0.013996 well if the p-values are the exact same that indicates that we're really running the same test here so the first thing we can see is that we get the exact same p-value running our two groups under the independent t as we do when we run our two groups under the one-way ANOVA. With two groups, we can run the independent samples T, or we can run the one-way ANOVA as they produce the exact same p-value, meaning you'll draw the same conclusion about the hypothesis test.